guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here my name is Nicole and this is the simplistic home and here on my channel I share all things simple living affordable decorating and thrifting and in today's video we are diving into more fall decorating so in today's video we are going to be decorating my dining room for fall so if you've been on my channel for a little bit this fall season then you know that I have been doing some fall content here I have already decorated my kitchen for fall I also shared a really good fall recipe in that one so be sure to check that out I've also done several fall shop with me some fall thrifting just a little bit of everything here but now it's time to put all of these pieces together that I have found over the last few months and also from previous years as well and we're going to be incorporating them into my home so for fall, I really love those warm, rich tones. It's just so warm and inviting to me. Absolutely love all the fall colors. And my home is actually a very earth tone palette. So the fall colors just go perfectly with everything I already have going on. So it's wonderful. But today, like I said, we're going to be decorating my dining room. I have several locations here in this room that we're going to be decorating. One is going to be my hut right behind me. I'm also going to be decorating a couple little nooks here and also my dining room table as well. So lots of thrifted pieces in today's video. Also some pieces from Target this year and a couple from other locations too. So. so before we get started, I do want to mention a home decor box that I recently got. So I last month received a home decor subscription box in the mail from Habitation Box and they recently sent me the September box as well. So if you guys saw my early fall decorate with me video, then you saw the August box already. There was lots of cute pieces in there, but like I said, I recently received the September box and there's even cuter pieces in here as well. So lots of fall things. So I want to go ahead and show you guys that if you guys are interested in the habitation box and any of these items that I show you. I will have the September box linked down below in my description. There is also a 10% off discount code for you guys also, so definitely check that out. But let's go ahead and jump into the box now. Okay, so this first piece I loved. As soon as I opened the box, I thought this was so cute. So it is a dried like flower wreath, so pretty. So it just has like some little yellow flowers or some greens and browns in there as well. But this thing is so cute. So perfect for fall decorating and also just transitioning into early fall as well. If you guys still aren't ready to decorate for fall yet. And I even think this would be cute in the springtime too. So this little wreath in there is so cute. Definitely love this piece. These next items in the box I absolutely love as well. So I have seen these on Pinterest, on Instagram, different things like that. And I just think that they're so cute. And I actually haven't seen any in store from what I can remember, but they are these little pumpkins, or I guess this one is a little, this is a big one. This is the little one. They're little pumpkins that have like a candle base in the middle. So you can put like a little tea light candle or a real candle in there, but it's just a metal like um, hollow pumpkin as you can see. And like I said, you can put a candle there. So how cute are these? I think these are so adorable and I was so excited when I saw these when I opened the box. So really excited to put these to use as well. So this next item in the box is so cute too. So, and it also matches one of the items I'm going to be using in today's video, but it is this white ceramic pitcher. So as you can see, it has, it's not like a perfectly shaped, it has like some wave to it, but it's so cute and it has the little handle, tiny spout. This would be perfect. So it's more like a vase. You wouldn't really wanna probably use this for like serveware or anything, but um, if you had like florals in here or something, I think this would be so cute, but it's just the perfect little pitcher and you can use this all year round very easily. The next item I received in the box was this hanging pumpkin. So this would be really nice hanging on a door or if you had like a hall tree or something like that, just like a little entryway. And you can also layer this inside of a wreath if you wanted to. I've seen people do that, kind of hang this first and then hang the wreath on top of it so it's in the center of the wreath. Kind of just make a huge arrangement like that but it just says welcome on there in cursive it has the plaid detail on the pumpkin and then it has the leaves on the stems kind of like a wooden cutout but this is really sweet and i think i'm gonna use this this year on my front porch okay and then this last item in the september box was this little galvanized tray it has the rope handles on it so i think this year i'm going to be using this on my back patio i think this would be really cute with a pumpkin sitting there and maybe some like a little mum or something or i was even playing around with it earlier and if you wanted to use this inside you can layer the pumpkin the smaller one and the vase and then have like some flowers on there and a candle and the pumpkin i think that would be super cute too so lots of different things one of the cool things about the habitation box is that 
on the box that these items are shipped in, there is a label that you can scan with your phone and it will take you directly to the Habitation Box website and it will give you specific details and styling tips on how you can style the specific pieces in the box that you received. So it's super awesome. Like I said, I will have the September box linked down below if you guys are interested. I also have that discount code as well. So don't forget to put that in if you do want to purchase a box for yourself. She has the holiday boxes, like I said. She also has individual individual boxes that you can create as well just a lot of different things but it's really neat and I just wanted to show you guys what I got in the September box okay so now that we have went through the habitation box let's go ahead and decorate this dining room I'm so excited to show you guys the things that I got like I said a lot of these pieces are thrifted one of the main things going on my dining room table is thrifted this year you guys aren't gonna believe it and you're not gonna believe the price of it it was amazing and like I said I also have a few other things from some retail stores like Target and whatnot so anyways let's go ahead and get to decorating this dining room Alright you guys, first we are going to go ahead and start decorating the hutch. So I'm just using a variety of pieces. Most of these are thrifted, but I do have some that are newer and from retail stores. So first thing are these picks. So I found these this year at Hobby Lobby. They are so, so beautiful. I absolutely love the mustard and kind of brown color that they are. And then I'm placing them inside of this clearance picture that I also found at Hobby Lobby a few years back. And I'm just going to be layering that on top of a book. Next up, I'm going to be taking another thrifted piece. This is a casserole dish that I found last year for around $5. I always like to keep this in the hutch. I think it's just a really good staple piece. And then for the bottom shelf, again, I'm going to be using more books and then some more thrifted pieces. So I have a thrifted wreath from last year, a thrifted wooden bowl, and then inside of the bowl, I'm going to be taking a ceramic Target Dollar Spot pumpkin from this year. So it's kind of that aged terracotta look. This one was only $3 and I'm going to be placing it inside of the bowl placing that whole arrangement on top of the books for some added height. along in the rest of the hutch I'm going to be using some wooden bud vases I pretty much use these every single season and then I'm going to be putting a little bit of fall eucalyptus picks in there as well those will be scattered all throughout the hutch you guys will notice here as we go through the rest of this decorating of the hutch but I absolutely love those I found them last year at Hobby Lobby I don't remember if I've seen them this year or not um, they probably have them but I just didn't notice but anyway I'm going to be using those and then also some thrifted wooden bowls a ivory pumpkin that came from Hobby Lobby in one of the bags and then more of that eucalyptus just to make a little arrangement kind of that vignette look in this part of the hutch. <music> And then for the bottom, I'm just going to be taking an array of faux pumpkins. So some of these are from the Target dollar spot. And again, more of those ivory pumpkins are from Hobby Lobby. <music> Moving along to the other side of the hutch, I'm just going to be taking, again, some more thrifted pieces. So I have these candlestick holders. Those are thrifted. And then inside of them, I have candles that are from Hobby Lobby from this year. Those are just by the regular candle section at Hobby Lobby. And when you get them half off, they are like less than a dollar a piece. Super good deal. They're originally like $1.50, I think. So again, even a good deal without the sale. But anyway, in front of that, I'm going to be taking another thrifted brass piece. And then again, with that eucalyptus pick, just to kind of finish that out and create this little area here. And then for the middle shelf, I'm just going to be taking some more thrifted pieces. I have a vase that I'm going to be using and also a cream pitcher. So like I said, these are thrifted too. And then in front of that, I'm just going to be taking another Target Dollar Spot pumpkin from last year and then a little bit of greenery to tie in with the greenery that I have throughout the whole hatch. <music> And then 
last but not least, this last little corner in the hutch, I'm just going to be mimicking the other wooden bowls and whatnot that I had. And then next to the hutch, I'm going to be making a large arrangement. So if you guys have been watching my channel for any amount of time now, you know that I love large arrangements in my kitchen and my living room, my dining room, all throughout the main living spaces. So for my dining room this year, I decided to take this huge wicker bottle. I found that on Clarence at Hobby Lobby over the summer. And then I'm going to be taking a large fall pick from Hobby Lobby this year. So these picks are much of an inspiration throughout my whole home for fall decor this year. I love them the first time I saw them and I knew I just wanted to incorporate them this year. So for the dining room, like I said, I just wanted to make this large arrangement next to the hutch, kind of layer it with those baskets on the wall. And I think it was the perfect look and the perfect color. So here it is up close. I love these branches. They're super whimsical and just really pretty realistic looking And the bottle is super pretty too. And you can use that all year round, but really loving the hutch area. Everything looks really good. I think and I love those rich fall colors. moving along to our dining room table. So this is the huge arrangement that I thrifted this year for only $9. I absolutely love this thing. I think it is so beautiful. It definitely ties in with all of my fall decor from years past and the items that I was drawn to this year as well. So, so pretty. And I cannot believe I got this thing for $9. I found some very similar at Kirkland's this year that were between like 80 and 100. So $9, quite the steal. I'm just going to be layering it on top of this oversized table runner and then also incorporating some battery operated candles as well but before we get to decorating the table let's go ahead and clean it off so I'm just using my Mrs. Myers cleaner and then I have a reusable paper towel that is actually from Hobby Lobby this year it's super cute it has little leaves on it my mom found a pack of them and they came in like a pack of 10 so she gave me a few but anyway long story short let's go ahead and do that and then get to decorating this table so for the oversized table runner I found that at the beginning of the summer in the hearth and hand section at Target absolutely love the oversized look it is so pretty and it just has the ivory stripes in it along with the jute material so very pretty very neutral you can use this all year long if you want to and then just on top layering it in the center I'm going to be taking this huge arrangement as you guys can see this thing is pretty large but I just love it I think it is so so pretty I love the colors in it just everything about it and then it like I said it does have the little spots for candles so I found a pack of battery operated candles at Sam's Club that I'm going to go ahead and put on there I do have a variety of thrifted battery operated candles but when I put them all on there originally they were all kind of different warmths of lighting and I didn't really like that for the centerpiece so I ended up buying these but I love that these come with a remote and you can also set a timer so it is super awesome if I can find them I will have it linked down below in the description box but overall this is what this space turned out to look like I think it is so beautiful very simple like I said definitely nods to fall with all these really rich fall colors with the pumpkins the dim lighting of the candles so pretty very, very much love this piece and it's a great staple for my dining room. Now 
moving on to a couple little corner nooks here in my dining room. I have these wooden window panes that I thrifted last summer for $2.00. Absolutely love these also, and I wanted to just kind of warm up this little space here, so I decided to add this to the wall. And then on top of it, instead of doing like the wreath look that is pretty popular, it's just not necessarily my style. I wanted to change it up, and I found these wall arrangements at Target several months back, and I loved them, and I wanted to hold off and get some this fall, so that's exactly what I did. I think they are so pretty, and they have the little hole in the back already ready to hang up, so I'm just going to be placing this in the center here. I think it's definitely Definitely a very unique look. I think it's really pretty though and I really love the fall colors in that as well. I went ahead and placed one on the other side of this entryway too just so everything is very cohesive but like I said really loving the rich tones and I think it looks really good. Definitely warms up these corner spaces for sure. So here is an overview of the entire dining room. So it is not a very large space, but I do love coming in here. We host all the time. We have friends and family here all the time for dinners and parties and whatnot. And I just love the space. So it is very cozy to me. I think it's also very inviting. I love to keep it very practical because like I said, we are in here all the time. But even though I do love the full blown tablescape look, I decided to just keep it simple this year for fall. But if you enjoy full tablescapes, be on the lookout. I will have a video a little later in this season with a full tablescape with different ideas that you guys can use if you are hosting or something along those lines. But like I said, just really loving the dining room loving the warm tones that are in here and just the practicality as well but like I said it definitely all nods to fall that is all for today's video i hope you really enjoyed this fall decorate with me here in my dining room i think there was some really cute pieces that i found this year especially while thrifting and then like i said i'm really pleased with how this space turned out i like to keep my dining room very simple we are in here every single day pretty much every single meal we host a lot and things like that so i like to keep it at a minimum as much as i can but i also want it to feel very festive as well so i think just the little touches of fall here and there are perfect definitely loving the hutch loving the tree next to it and also speaking of trees stay tuned because my next decorate with me is going to be my living room and i have a diy faux tree that is about six six and a half foot tall that i'm going to be making and i am so excited to show you guys i am going to be decorating my living room next like i said that is going to be the last decorate with me video here in my home so stay tuned for that and i'm also going to be decorating outside as well whenever the weather permits and i can get my hands on some real pumpkins and whatnot so you don't want to miss out if you are new here to my channel and you enjoy all things simple living affordable decorating and thrifting i hope you give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new i would love to have you here in this space and be sure to hit that bell notification that way you're notified every time I post another video like I said I have lots more coming your way and if you are interested in seeing some shop with me's if you haven't been out shopping yet for fall decor and you're curious as to what is in store be sure to check out my fall 2022 playlist I will have that link down below in the description box and like I said earlier about the habitation box I will have that link down below in the description as well if you're interested so thank you guys again so much for watching I'm so appreciate you being here and I hope to see you around in my next video thank you guys again and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.